I am shocked at how fast the Empire arc has been wrapped up. Last episode was absolutely peak though. And yes, everyone had their amazing moments. Shea went off. Hajime was just watching in the background, being proud of everybody. But the funniest part is how much I was glazing for the Emperor. Dude, the Empire is just the Emperor and no one else. It's just the Emperor and just a bunch of shitty CGI soldiers. Just like, where is everyone else? Does the Empire not have like, you know, uh, what, what? I don't even know what the Empire's name is, but why don't they have like the Empire's 10 elites? Where there's like 10 elite soldiers, right? Cool designs and stuff that we have to like defeat. I thought that would be kind of sick, but it's not going to be that kind of story. I think that the Emperor will be important moving on, even though he's been domesticated. I think that he can be a powerful ally given the right choice. He's not the best person. But his son is way worse than that, and I'm so glad he just died immediately. Let's begin today's reaction. The Haudias are free. Time to go into the labyrinth, guys. Ah, shit. Off limits for you? Who the hell is the Council of Elders? Because Haudias are not the only you know, like a demi-human clan in this place, right? It's not just bunny people here. So many different like species of people, Council of Elders resides over them all. We're considered sinners and try to execute us. What do we do? That's sus. You're not going to tell us? A furry 10. Mm. Oh, I thought that Yue was sitting on Hajime's lap here while the other girls are like, you know, standing behind in order, like Regulus's wives, are harem at full display with the main girl showing bias. What is his name? One elder. Ulfric. Maybe he's gonna be like a super, uh, what's it called? Radical, like, beastman, uh, elitist, where they think that humans and everything else is bad. Ulfric. Okay. And blue lock time. Yeah, blue lock, blue lock, blue locks, gliding, 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 gliding. Who's the hero? Us? I don't know. Is he coming? <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> I think the Emperor... His, his jacket is so sweaty. So slutty, man. Like, most people don't ever think about stuff like this, but because my mind is rotten, like, I just think about, like, how much of a slut he is to, like, custom his shirt so that it's showing his, like, pecs, his inner pecs here. This is pretty much a man cleavage, but no one would ever think about this because double standards exist. No, I'm a true gender equalist. And girls are showing their titties all they want, for sure. So can the Emperor. <laughs> you want a spaceship? No. We have plenty of women. What do you mean the right age? <laughs> the right age in an isekai world? I'm worried about that number. He's not. He's serious. That's a Shizuku moment. Last episode, when Shizuku was, you know, she kind of leaked her intentions by saying, I want to play rock, paper, scissors too, to you see who can get Hajime first. Remember that? She doesn't want to admit it, but leaked it. That's the same thing with Lily. Why would you get worried there? And then Shizuku's giving the fucking side eye right now and saying, you slipping up just like me. Why <laughs> sucks? Your son sucks. I'm sure even he would agree. <laughs> what a shrewd, cunning man. Because, like, I think he's one of the most reasonable and cunning people in the show I've seen. Is he genuine right now? He could be. But he could also just be lying and playing, you know, the empathy card. Like, he's good. He's really good at this. Emperor's actually so funny. Now, that joke, if you understand, 
like, if you don't know the context of Ari Furete, that joke is creepy as fuck, right? He just basically said, hey, yo, I can help you groom this 14-year-old girl right now. What the fuck? But the emperor in the Ari Furete humor, I think he's, he's pretty funny. Yeah, he wants a rocket. He wants a spaceship. <laughs> Lily wants it, actually. Now Lily's saying, don't ignore me. Hold up, why are you denying it immediately? Ignored. You're a bargaining chip, Lily. We want to go home. Can you help us go home? Oh. Tio's gonna like this, right? Tio enjoys being cucked. But, ooh, Kaori, man. Ooh, this is number one and two right now. Ooh, Kaori ain't here. Shea made it onto the list, though. Nothing. I'm worried about the Emperor having a spaceship. Sounds kind of scary. <laughs> We're just going over the places that the Emperor just fucked up. The Empire did. Burning this shit is sacred sin. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. My bad. My bad. I love him so much. No, it's uh, your boss's spaceship. Dog people. Aw, oh, reunion. Yay, random NPCs. Elves too. <laughs> I feel like this is an important character that we just didn't even know about in the last couple episodes. Wait, what? Are you saying these trees are our fault right now? Due to our entrance? Uh, did we fuck up these trees with our face shit? <laughs> Kaori can do what? Oh wait, we're gonna have some powers. Some powers incoming. <laughs> what? Tetragrammation. Tetra... okay. <laughs> this design is... Was this always the same design? Hold up. I gotta check this. Ari Furita Season 2 Noink. Is, is, it, is it the same? It is. It was always the same. Yeah. I, I thought that they might have changed the cup design. Because this is the most Coomer cup design that I've seen. Because look at this shit, right? Like, like it's, it's the same. So, like, the craziest thing about this design is that... The nipples are protruding here. <laughs> they, 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 they actually have a separate part for the nipple. And then the under boob part. Like, like that's crazy. That, that, <laughs> to highlight some extra detail, that's crazy. I don't know the extent of her powers, but like, greenery, forest, living things? She can restore it. <laughs> no, she's not. Yeah? Are we just gonna prop her up to be an actual goddess then? We're just gonna say, okay, sure, why not? Kaori's a goddess now, sure, why not? <laughs> Shizu, Shizu. I wonder who this could be, guys. I have no clue who's under this mask. It's definitely not Koki, right? Could that be Koki, guys? Is this another character that just gets skipped immediately and just gets retconned in, in the anime? Like Lily and like Lily's brother. Maybe Lily's brother was actually shown before, but Lily, dude, she did not exist in season one. <laughs> this elf girl here existed in season one, source material, but like for us. This is the first time we're fucking seeing her, so okay, hello. 
How many new characters gonna show up in the future that we skipped? They're the strongest, man. It's a turning point. <laughs> the bunnies. The bunnies, wait, the bunnies, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I thought they were about to do something fucked up. They're lining up. What is it? Those are we able to wage war on the world? <laughs> wait, 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 where are you going with this, bro? You're saying let's dominate this conquer the world next? Okay. You all must train and be strong and protect yourselves. Hey, who's the mysterious guy, man? お前たちはそれでいいのか？なあ、なら、どうすればいいか？簡単だ。みたいなら、戦え。戦え。戦え。戦え。戦え。戦え。戦え。戦え。戦え。戦え。戦え。戦え。戦え。戦え。戦え。
That's also true. It's gonna take a long time. Alright, toss him home. They're still ignoring you, girl. <laughs> You're next, Lily. Oh, he actually thought about throwing Lily. I thought he was joking for a second. He, he was actually gonna do it, bro. You can't. You're too broke. ことを成したのはハウリアだっただが南雲殿にも第四があるのは事実まあ本に期待というのチームなんて今のところ何もないぞならばせめて樹海に滞在する間の持てもらったお礼がしたいと言っている now, why are we sinners? Why was he exiled? Tell me. They're skipping the important lore. Oh. Oh. Okay. Reinstated. Will they oppose? They should respect this. Oh. My man. Okay, my man is not here to just side with the status quo. Kotowaru indeed. Why? Because the way that things are being ran here is inefficient and that's what led to the demise of this place. It's better to just like disrupt and what are we doing? Are we just gonna like build something new from the ground up and Kam will be like the leader of that group or something? Oh. <laughs> And we saved us. Beastman exiled Haria for protecting Shea? That's right. Shea was like a cursed child because a beast person should not be able to use magic or have that future sight or something like that, right? Yeah, the Haudias really have no reason to be nice to these people. They indirectly got saved by us due to our actions. But we are our own people. Fuck them. You know what? I, I like this. We ain't brethren. Rabbit supremacy. Nice boss. Okay. Damn, he really just stood on business there. I, I thought that like we'd be really amicable and, you know, appropriate. And just be just going along with them and join the Elder Council. But it's like, nah. We're our own people. We saved ourselves. You get in our way. You're up next. Do you think Kaori and Tio are being cucked right now? This is quite the power play. To literally have a conversation with all your girls of the harem in the room, but you give one girl the lap pillow preference, and the other girls have to watch while you talk. This, this is some... <laughs> I don't know, maybe they enjoy it. The main wife who was saying I'm the main girl, you fucking behave. What the fuck was that? <laughs> main waifu letting the other girls know. Stay in line. No one will disrupt this special moment. Oh, Her body is like the roots of the tree? Does this description fit our knight in golden armor? Koki? Not really, right? <laughs> Bro can't protect anybody. <laughs>
紹介しますね大切な人です<coughs> そして私は父様は I hope the mother comes out of the tree like a spirit and graces us or this kind of feels like a schizo moment そして私は父様はハウリア族は英雄に奈落から這い出て世界を敵に回す覚悟で始めた二人旅シェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアシェアのの <laughs> ちょっとついてきてくれませんかうんタップのトリーパーサマの埋葬したのはここがカーサマのお気に入りの場所だったからなんですなるほどおはじめさすがに恥ずかしいのですがチェルアウトですかクローズアイズもちろんいいですよク
Reeves here with season two trial. Why is he back on Earth? Is this the trial of the fucking great tree? Like, what is this shit? The labyrinth is a trial? It has to be, right? You. What the? Oh no. It's looking like Hajime mentally has reset. Like, he knows everything. So, in this IRL, like, to them, all the different characters exist, but his personality is back to before the show started. Uh, oh, he's still doing that, though. In that day's episode. Huh. That definitely has to do with, you know, the labyrinth, right? So, the labyrinth must be something of, like, overcoming your past struggle, similar to ReZero. We'll see. Today's episode was the aftermath of, you know, conquering the Empire. I don't really conquer it, but we made a lot of demands that makes the Halias pretty much just immune to everything. The Emperor? I love him. He's really, really growing on me. From the beginning, I was already glazing him. And the way that he was so cheeky and passive-aggressive and logical and strong just always made me think that he's a great character that could be useful in the future. He's also a gag character where we just toss him into the teleported thing, but I think that him even wearing like the Power Ranger helmet and shit, it's actually peak comedy for me. The rest of the stuff with the Hylias, it makes a lot of sense. Why would the Hylias want to help, you know, the people who exiled the, the chief's daughter, right? They've been nothing but shady towards us. But uh, we're not going to join them. We're basically our own people. And if you want to get stronger, sure, you can help us out, right? You can join us. But like, if you get in our way, the Hylias blades are going to be pointed at your throats next. The Beastmen, we are not the same. And then the whole sentimental stuff with Shea, sorry, with uh, Shea and Hajime, that was really nice. Hajime showed some real moments of maturity. Like, the whole, like, deep respect to the dead mom. The whole, like, you don't need to do anything. The lap pillow giving us a reward. It's nice. And it's looking like we're going to the next arc. And I'm glad that the labyrinth isn't all about just killing CGI monsters. Because who cares about it? One of my least favorite things about Arifurata was how long we'd stay in the labyrinth fighting random CJ monsters that I don't really care about. But this one is fundamentally different, so we'll see how this one cooks. That's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.